Welcome back to day 19. We are almost two thirds of the way through and I am just very excited about today's prayer because this is one of my favorites. Today we're going to be praying for our children to have a love for God's word. And the Bible says this is love for God to obey his commands and his commands are not burdensome. And so if our children have a love for God's word, they're going to be self-propelled into learning more about God, learning more about who he is. And, and it's just going to permeate every possible crack and crevice of their lives. And I just, I, I can confess to you freely that sometimes I feel like reading the Bible is boring. I feel like overall I have a love for God's word, but I do feel sometimes like reading the Bible can be boring when I'm just not in the mood for it. And so we are in a fast paced, entertainment heavy, insta world where scripture and sitting down and being still and reading words that aren't easy and dumbed down um, can, can pale in comparison to the, I don't know, the, the bright lights and the, the fast paced world of, of technology and entertainment and media. So I think it's more important than ever that we pray that our children have a love for God's word that they wouldn't seek after experience only. I mean, I know youth groups are appealing to kids because of some of the fun stuff that they do, and that's how they kind of bring them in and present the Word of God to them in a way that's relevant. And I love that, and I think that's great. But my prayer for my kids is that they wouldn't be drawn into that and that they wouldn't be attracted only to the the bling that they would be attracted to god for god's sake and god's word for what it is and that they would treasure it that they would hold it as the precious pearl that it is and that they would just um learn to love learning more about god that they would love to um put the pieces together that they would have aha moments where they learn truths that are so deep that the world could never offer anything that could compare. And that's what I want for my kids. And I want that for myself too. I'm not saying I have that all together either. Um, so yeah, let's just pray that our children would have a love for God's word and that obedience would flow from that. Dear God, we thank you for the gift of your word. Thank you so much that you have given us the living word, the double-edged sword that penetrates to divide soul and spirit, joints and marrow, that judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart, that it's a lamp to our feet, a light to our path. Oh God, they are treasures. How sweet they are to us, God, sweeter than honey, according to your word. Lord, we pray that our children would embrace your word for what it is, that if they are drawn to you by flashy entertainment-like stuff in children's ministry or youth group, more power to them, God, that they would love that, that they would be drawn to it because of that, but that they would stay for your word, that they would be exposed to the transforming power of words from the mouth of the creator. Thank you, God, for that gift. And we just pray that they would have open eyes to see that gift, to embrace it, and to just chase after your word all the days of their lives. Lord, we pray that they would hear your voice speaking so clearly to them, that they would have these aha moments where they just experience you in ways that they can't explain by any other means than God is real. God loves me. God is speaking to me. He's engaging with me. And that that would fuel their passionate pursuit of your word for the rest of their lives. In Jesus' name, amen.